Hey everybody, this is Commander Bacon and welcome back to another episode of Commander Bacon Makes It Better. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what we got today. All right, today we've got uh, a chicken plucker. Customer called us, said that their chicken plucker will not run. Don't understand. Brand new chicken plucker. They just assembled it. So let's take a look. I think I, I think I know what's going on with this right away. But let's let's take a look. So we got we got the. Uh, oh, I did have it. We do have the owner's manual, the instructions, the assembly instructions, and everything. But I'm gonna show you something right here. This this one thing is a problem. And if you have a chicken plucker and it doesn't start, I'm gonna show you. This little little device right here with this arrow see that that needs to be lined up over here with this arrow so this whole drum was assembled upside down here's another indication it was upside down see this this clasp here here's where it hooks so the whole thing's upside down so the only way to flip that is we're gonna have to take the the bolt that holds the bottom plate in with the fingers. We're gonna take that out, this here out. If I can. <laughs> if I can get it to quit spinning, yeah, it's loose. So we gotta get. It's hard with all the fingers, the fingers get in the way. Too many fingers, they get in the way. Not a good thing. So it's a long bolt. We'll get this out of here. Don't lose your washer. Now this should all flip out. Now here's gonna be the hard part. Flipping this with all the fingers. All right. So we're gonna get it. Oh, there is a there is a key. You gotta make sure you get your key lined up. You think we should clean that real good before we reassemble it? Well, I'm gonna hose it off real good. I don't think it'll. I don't. I don't think it's gonna keep us from being able to clean it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this bolt because it's easier. So I already got it plugged in. I did hit the power switch and it does not run. And it won't if that magnet is not in the place, right place. So that magnet is just, uh, it triggers the switch that, down here. All right. Take this bolt up good. All right. There we go. Now this drum, just sit right down over top of this right like that see what that that was a whole lot easier than see this lip on it here that was that was a pain to assemble i'm sure they had a lot of trouble with that and then then we just take that down there latch it try to latch it <laughs> try it again put that on there go around Get all the latches latched. This is just a safety little clip here. Make sure it doesn't pop off while it's running. Because if you've ever seen a chicken plugger run, it's pretty violent. There's a lot of things going on there. Get it done in place. 
keep popping off. Some of them pop on really good. Some of them need the keeper on there. To keep it from coming undone. Something weird with that. I don't know what happened there. All right. There we go. It's in place. I'm going to look at the arrows, how they're signed, all lined up now. See that? That magnet that's inside the drum is lined up with the switch that's underneath there. And now we're going to hit the power button. And it's still not working. It's clicking. All right. So we got. Oh, All right, put the power on. There you go. Another satisfied customer, Commander Bacon, makes it better. See you next time. God bless.